Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Teaks are basically anywhere. They don't jump, they don't fly, they crawl. And so a lot of times they're sitting on plants and they're just waiting for somebody to kind of walk by. And then once your pants leg walk, um, goes by the plant and stuff, then it'll just kind of attach and then it'll start climbing up. So whenever a teak is on you and they're just crawling on your body, that doesn't mean anything. It's just basically a teak on you and it's crawling around. If you get bit by the teak, then usually within 30 days, if you're gonna develop any kind of illness um, caused by the teak, it'll occur within 30 days. So you need to make sure that you're wash watching for any kind of rashes, um, headaches, real um, severe fatigue, and also muscle aches and joint pain. So the wives' tales are that whenever you get a tick on you, you light your match and then you blow it out and then you stick the match and stuff to the tick and then all of a sudden its legs will spread out and it'll be gone. That's not the proper way to do it. Um, also, I've heard that you can take petroleum jelly and you can put on there and you can smother the tick out and wait until it releases. That's not the way to do it is either. What you need to do is get you some fine tipped um, tweezers and then just gently um, press on um, the teak to get a hold of it and then firmly pull away from it. And then once it's out, then you just wash uh, the skin area with uh, water and soap. If you get bit by a teak, then the CDC doesn't recommend that anyone run to the doctor and um, get antibiotics. You'll wait, you'll watch for those symptoms. And then if you develop any of those symptoms or you become concerned about anything and stuff that's going on, then you just need to see your primary care doctor. A good idea would just be to remember the date that you were bitten, so that way the doctor and stuff can know kind of like a timeline and when the incident occurred.